What we have unraveled, I'm just gonna wait. So that work is due on Monday, okay? Um, I'm just gonna wait for people's attention. So, and then after that, you will need to correct it, okay? You'll receive a sector message and you need to correct it, okay? Correcting is really important. Why is it important to correct your work, Alan? Why is it important? To see where you make mistakes. Yeah, to see where you make mistakes. Really important to reflect. So when you play footy, Lucas, do you ever have a moment of reflection? Yes. Yes, when do you have a moment of reflection? After the game. After the game. Why is it important to reflect in a footy match? Yeah. So you can... Oh, I don't know. Knowing... Uh, yeah. Know our weaknesses and some at training. Yeah, so you know your weaknesses and you know your strengths as a team and you know where you need to practice more. Okay? So in maths, sometimes going back over things you've done incorrectly it's not such a nice thing, yeah? If you got something wrong, I know for myself, I don't want to go over something that I'm not happy about, yeah? But going over it is really, really crucial. That is what we call reflection, okay? So the next part is 3H, which is all about finding a percentage and expressing it as a percentage. Finding a percentage. What's a percentage that you know about Ella? Random percentage. 30%. 30%. There is a way to get that percentage. Okay, so say for example, this is your French test here, Jackson. 14 out of 20, right? Okay, so if you got 14 out of 20, you don't seem too happy about it. <laughs> How do we put that as a percentage, Jackson? What do we do to a fraction to change to a percentage? Divide it. You gotta make it a decimal. Right, you gotta make it a decimal? So you're gonna change this to a decimal? Five. So what does that what does that become? How do we change a fraction to a percentage? Harlow. Well done, good memory. We have to multiply by a hundred. Now Ama, how do we do this part now. How do we simplify this? That's one way. Okay, so 14 times 100 over 20. What does that become now? Um, no. 1,400. Over 20. Then you've got to work this out. How do you work this out now, Ma? So you cut these zeros. Now you've got 140 over 2, which is 70%. Okay, great. Ama, well done. Now, there is another way to approach this, which is a shorter way. Okay, Angelina, what would you do? What could you do? What's the other method? Ella? Blake? Cut the zeros off. Cut the zeros off. What, top and bottom? Yeah. Yes. Remember, you can simplify top and bottom, right? So you have to do that and that. Can you still simplify 2 and 10 Ekam? Yes, how? How can we simplify 2 and 10? Yeah, they both can divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is what? 1. 10 divided by 2 is? 5. Now, we don't have to... We, can you put that down? Like, so now we're going to do 14 times 5. And that should give you 70%. That is how you ex can express it. That's the second method. Amar, what you did was actually one method. This is another method. This is the quickest method. No, yeah. No, and so are you, but you just tried out a different method. In maths, you learn about different things. Okay, different things, different shortcuts, and that's the whole point. Okay, so um, let's have a go at another question. So having a go at so these are some of the questions that you need to have a go at. So when it says here, 12 out of 40, what does that mean, Ava? 12 out of 40. What does that mean? Uh, that 
What does that mean? How do you write that down? 12? Yeah, 12 over 40. Well done, Ava. 12 over 40. Okay? Now, how do I express this as a percentage? Malale. Well done. We're going to do what Harlow said, which was times by 100. Can we simplify NAS in this? Are we going to go with what Amar said, which was 12 times 100, then divide by 40? Exactly. Is another way. That is a genius idea. <laughs> That's a genius idea. What's the other way? Yes. Naz. Cross the zero. Cross the zero. If the zero was at the bottom, let's say if the zero was here and it was 1 over 100, can we do this, Blake? Can we do this? Yes. No, you can't. Shh, Ma. Ma, watch what you say. <laughs> Remember, what's the rule when you cross the zeros out? Yes, Angelina. Yeah, if it's top and bottom. Yep. So here, even though it's diagonal, it has to be top and bottom. You can't just simplify that way. So you cross that, cross that. What are you left with now? Yes, Harlow. Yeah, 12 over 4 times 10. Can you simplify 12 over 4, Blake? Yeah. What's that equal to? Uh, what? 12 Three. divided by 4. Yeah, well done. 3. Three, 3 times 10 is what? 30. So how do you write that as a percentage? 37. Well done. Okay. I'm going to get you guys to have a go at question B, I... So this question here, and then this question. You've got about two minutes. Okay, that's, that's, that's a very short time, but let's see if you can have a go. Could you keep the on the Keep it on there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. How's your phone story off all your videos? It's not that much. Do you just leave them? You take so much. All right, guys, come on, have a go. You have about, it's 3.04. I'm going to give you about a minute and a half. Is that rude, Sue? Sue, do you like my drinks? Yes, very, that's very good. Thanks. Keep it up. Yeah. Take a video, put it up. Take a video. Of that one, put it up. Internet banks. You can do all the time lapse. Hey, listen, listen. Okay, Amal, come on, continue. Shh. Okay, year eight, can you please... Okay, 305, I'm going to start this first one. Six out of 16. Times by 100. How do we simplify this, Lucas? Could we have something in common here and here, or here and here? There's quite a few, isn't there? Six and 16? What can they both divide by? Oh, two. Two, yeah. Divide by two becomes what? Three. Divide by two becomes eight. Is there something in common between eight and a hundred, Ella? What can they both divide by? Um, eight and a hundred. Two. two? Is there another higher number? Four. There's four. But let's go with two, right? Eight divided by two is four. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Can we still simplify 4 and 50? Yes. Harlow. Sorry? 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 50 divided by 2 is 25. Now you're left with 3 over 2 times 25, which is 75 over 2. How do you work that out as a number, Ella? 75 divided by 2. Oh my God. 2 into 75, which is 3. Carry the 1. 2 into 15 is what? 7. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1 is 5. How do you write that as a percentage, Alan? 37.5%. Well done. 37.5%. Okay, guys, we're going to call it quits there. Um, 